Well, changing directions now. Finding your way through the Cleveland Flats can be a little tricky for many drivers. But right now, two bridges that cross the Cuyahoga are closed, and that is causing frustration for business owners and folks in the community. The Columbus Road Lift Bridge and the Center Street Swing Bridge are both closed. Neil Fisher joins us live this afternoon. Neil, what is going on down there? Did, did they not know that having two bridges closed at the same time is just not a good situation? A lot of people are getting upset, Betsy, and for good circumstances. For instance, just to get to the Flatiron, it's a two and a half mile detour for those who want to visit. And if there's a ship on the river, it could take an extra 45 minutes just to get to their destination. The Center Street Swing Bridge has been closed for 16 months. The owner of the Flatiron, David Steele, told me today that originally they were told it would only take 10 months. Now they're hearing it could be the end of summer until it's back up and running, causing them to miss two full summers of business. Meanwhile, the Columbus Road Bridge is closed as well, impacting businesses nearby. I would say close to 50% um, just because of the event traffic we we're losing out on. Um, uh, Jacob's Pavilion and all the foot traffic. We didn't really have anybody come in because our customers are lost, confused. They're like, which way do we go? And then by the time they get here, they get tired and they lose interest. Business owners are worried about how this is going to impact them moving forward with staffing and adjusting schedules. They're also upset that no one from the city has addressed them on the problems and when they'll be back up and running. So coming up at five o'clock, we'll have those answers from ODOT and the city of Cleveland as to when these bridges could open and why the construction is taking this long. Betsy. Mm. Well, Neil, you mentioned the summer season, very important for those businesses as the flats are a huge hotspot. What about the folks who are trying to get down into the flats and navigate around? Right, we talked to a couple earlier today that was walking and we're like, yeah, you have to go around to the detour. And they said, we just came from that direction. What, what do you mean? And so they ended up deciding to call an Uber because they didn't want to walk all that, all that way back around. So it's a very difficult time for everyone down there right now. Well, you definitely have to plan ahead, know which side of the river you need to be on, and don't forget that good old Detroit Superior Bridge is probably yes. going to be a major route for a lot of folks. Neil Fisher joining us live in the newsroom this afternoon. Thanks, Neil.